Hello, this is Tom Fredrickson with the Victorian Woodshop. This video is going to talk about our flat sawn Victorian porch and deck balusters. Now, if you notice in the website at victorianwoodshop.com, we carry a variety of styles of balusters. These are traditional Victorian designs, and a lot of them are recreations from existing uh, porch balusters that are on some of the really old homes. Now, we make them in two standard sizes, and I brought the 30 inch out. Right now, a 30 inch and a 27 inch are really standard. And by the time you come off of the deck a few inches and then put the 30 inches up and then a top railing, you're gonna get that 36 to 40 inch height. And 27 is as well as a, is a really popular size. Uh, the three quarter inch solid kiln dried finger jointed pine. This stuff is strong. And you put them together and I do wanna bring attention here that in addition to having them touch, if you separate them about an inch, you get a really nice look. And it's something I want, a lot of people don't think about being able to do that, but you really can. And I think it just gives a great look to a porch going across. A uh, question that I get a lot is, okay, I come to the end. You start in the middle and you start working left and right. And you come to the end and you've got a little bit of room left on, on the ends. What do you do to fill that spot? just a strip of wood right against it and it looks great it lo makes it look finished now you're going to need to rip it down on your end as for the exact distance but i usually always be, uh, include in the box some extra wood so you can make some strips on, onto your under your porch thing um, another design and i brought this one out to bring attention to the fact that you can get really fancy some people like a really fancy one. Uh, another question I get is, you know, what kind of design should I get? I tend to go more, if you have a more modern looking home, I tend to go more, more toward the simpler designs. The true old 1880s Victorians, you can't go wrong with going over the top. The, you just can't overdo it. But some of the more modern ones where you're just trying to give some interest to your porch going across, consider using something that isn't quite as, as aggressive. Now back to the wood construction of how do you make these. This is kind of the odd duck of what we do here at the Victorian Wood Shop because when they're put up they're just held by the little tippy top and the little tippy bottom and these are sticking straight up in the air for the most part in long expanses. And I have to come up with some way where they're strong enough to the errant baseball being thrown by a kid, a big dog that gets in your porch and bangs into the fence, a kid on a tricycle. Uh, there are all sorts of ways that you can bang into these into these things. So you have to use a really strong wood. And I've, I've gone with this Chilean pine because you can sit and beat on it with a hammer. Uh, it's kiln dried. It, it's a really good, strong, hard wood. And there's just no really way to compromise on the kind of woods that you use in construction with this particular type of project. You're almost stuck with having to use that type of a, of a heavy wood. Uh, another thing that we do carry, you'll notice on the website, is I've got some smaller balusters that are 20 inches tall. You would be surprised the amount of calls I get for some of the existing homes. A lot of these end up going interior because some of the old construction were designed around that particular two foot space. And you have a couple inches top and a couple inches of bottom for a railing and these fit just perfect. But I did want to bring a couple of those out so you could see the, the difference on them. And they're, they're quite beautiful and you can do an awful lot with them. Okay, making a rail. I get tons of calls about how do you, Tom, do you have rails? Do you have, I don't make the railings here. They would be way too big to put in a box and ship. Uh, sometimes you're gonna to need to make them 12 feet long. I wanna show you an easy way to make a rail. Now, I, here's just a standard two by four. Now, I'm laying it flat here for the purpose of this discussion, but if it was me, I would put them on like this. So keep that just for the strength going across. At your local home improvement center, they sell what's called little porch and post brackets. They're little metal clips that you can put on your, your post, and these will just slide right into it. So it's real easy for you to measure that, and now you've got a little basic railing like three, four inches off of the ground. If you just take a strip of molding that, again, you can buy in eight to 12 foot sections at any home improvement store, generally only a couple dollars a piece, they're very inexpensive. Cove molding, whatever, you know, really fancy. Attach them to your 2x4 and you now have the basics for a little railing that you can slide these things against. 
You with me so far? So you've got this installed. Put these up, pin nail them in, and when you're done, and you've got them all going across here, you can take another strip of molding, put it on this end, and you've made yourself a groove. And it looks beautiful. You can even paint them different colors. Then again, just so you can show that. The reason for this kind of a system is it avoids you having to come up with a very expensive railing system, which, which can get quite expensive, or having to route a three-quarter inch groove in a piece of wood on your end. Again, very difficult. Also, the three-dimensional ability of having the cove molding on top of the wood, all of a sudden it doesn't start to look like a two-by-four anymore and it looks molded and coved. It, it's a really nice inexpensive system to do. And you can do an entire, gosh, railing system on your porch, 50 bucks, $100. So it, it, it really cuts the cost down. Again, balusters is kind of a different project. It's extremely easy to do. It's just you got to follow the little steps. Now we send them out primed, sealed, and ready to paint. These are so well sealed. The wood is so good. You can use a spray system to paint them, although I'm kind of an old-fashioned guy. I, I like to use a brush, but it's a good, strong system to use. If you've got any questions, give me a call. We'll go over it again when you do call because these are generally tend to be large orders. Time to construct, give me 10 days to two weeks because baluster orders tend to be large orders. Got questions? Give me a call. That's what we're here for. It's a great project and I hope you enjoy it. For right now, this is Tom Fredrickson with the Victorian Woodshop.